Welcome to the Art Integrated Learning Project by Group 2 of Class 9A. Group Members Razi Abbas, Dilshad, Mazin, Sahat Ali and Naseem. Task 1. Compare and contrast the vegetation of Kerala and Himachal Pradesh. Firstly, vegetation of Himachal Pradesh. The forests of Himachal Pradesh are known for their majesty like a green pearl in the Himalayan crown. The forest of the state can be broadly classified into coniferous forest and broad-leaved forest. The vegetation varies from dry scrub forest at lower altitudes to alpine pastures at higher altitudes. Dry deciduous forest, moist deciduous forest, pine, oak and deodor, mixed coniferous and temperate broadleaved forest zones are found in between these two extremes. Now let us talk about the different types of forest found in Himachal Pradesh. The forest of Himachal Pradesh can be classified into nine forest types. Dry alpine forest, moist alpine scrub forest, subalpine forest, Himalayan temperate forest of vegetation, dry temperate forest, temperate coniferous forest and temperate deciduous forest. And also the moist temperate forest are the most valuable timber forest of the state. Moving on to vegetation in Kerala, due to its varied topographical features, high rainfall and geological condition, Kerala has a luxuriant forest cover. The most outstanding feature of the state is the formation of tropical rainforest along the windward side of the southern western guards, which is lying parallel to the west coast. The forest of Kerala harbour almost 25% of India's plant species, which include many endemic rare and endangered plants. Now let us talk about the various forest types of Kerala. They include evergreen forest, deciduous forest, shola forest, grasslands, mangroves and the subtypes like Gaitek, Nilkiri, subtropical hill forest, etc. These various forest types harbour rich and diverse vegetations. Apart from the officially declared and modern conservation zones, Kerala has roughly 2,000 small and large sacred groups covering approximately 500 hectares. Although these sacred groups are the part of religious and cultural ideas and practice, they form the finest models of traditional conservation systems that are practiced for centuries in Kerala. Task 2. Draw pictures of vegetation and wildlife in Kerala and Himachal Pradesh. Firstly, natural vegetation in Himachal Pradesh. The pictures drawn are pink rhododendron, Himalayan cedar, etc. Natural vegetation in Kerala. The pictures drawn here are mango tree, jackfruit tree and coconut tree. Wildlife in Kerala and Himachal Pradesh. In Kerala we may find many common animals. An elephant and tiger has been drawn here. Wildlife in Himachal Pradesh has various species and they may not be very familiar to us. The pictures drawn here are the Himalayan yak and musk deer. Task 3 Compare and contrast the agricultural crops and occupations of Kerala and Himachal Pradesh. Kerala is an agrarian economy. Cash crops like coconut, rubber, tea, coffee, pepper, cardamom, cashew, ginger, cinnamon, cloves give the agriculture of Kerala a distinct flavor. It is coconut which brings the people their principal source of earning in agriculture. Himachal Pradesh The chief food crops cultivated in agriculture in Himachal Pradesh include wheat, Maize, rye, barley, ginger, vegetable, vegetable seeds, mushrooms, olives, etc. Himachal Pradesh is known as the apple state of India for its large scale production of fruits.
Moving on to the main occupations of people in Kerala and Himachal Pradesh. In Kerala, farming and fishing are the main occupation of the people. Kerala ranks first in India in the production of coconut, rubber, tapioca, lemon, grass oil, banana and ginger. Himachal Pradesh. Agriculture is the main occupation of people and forestry, tourism, industrial growth also plays an important role in the economy of the state. Task 4. Collect information about the constituencies of Kerala and Himachal Pradesh, the ruling party and the chief minister. Constituency of Kerala. The Kerala Legislative Assembly, popularly known as the Niyama Sabha, is the State Assembly of Kerala, one of 28 states in India. The Assembly is formed by 140 elected representatives or the state has 140 constituencies. Moving on to the constituency of Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh has a total of 69 constituencies. Examples are Dalhousie, Chamba, etc. Ruling Party of Kerala. The Communist Party of India, Marxist CPIM, is the ruling party of Kerala. The party emerged from the split from the Communist Party of India in 1964. As of 2020, CPIM is the leading state government in Kerala and has representation in the following legislative assembly, the state of West Bengal, Bihar, Odisha, etc. The ruling party of Himachal Pradesh. The current ruling party of Himachal Pradesh is BJP. BJP is one of the two major political parties in India. Now, moving on to the chief ministers of the two states. Chief Minister of Kerala, Pinarayi Vijayan, born 24th May 1945, is an Indian politician who is the current and 12th chief minister of Kerala. Serving since 25th May 2016, he was the longest serving secretary of the Kerala State Committee of the CPIM from 1998 to 2015. Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, Jairam Thakur, born 6 January 1965, is an Indian politician who is the current and 14th Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. He was elected the NJP Legislative Party leader on 24th December 2017. On behalf of my group, I, the coordinator, would like to thank each and every person who has spent their valuable time for this PPT. Thank you so much.